Here we are back again, uh, just going to make a short video about using the Pico oscilloscope to test common rail diesel solenoid injectors. We're also going to um, test inlet metering valves and we're going to scope the fuel pressure sensor. The first um, thing we're going to do is we're going to check the spec because we need to know um, what a good example looks like for comparison before we start. That way we'll know if ours is uh, good or bad. Um, it's hard to get manufacturer spec for these, but I found some data on the Pico automotive software. Uh, we can use that as a general guide. Okay, so we'll just select the Pico scope software here. Okay, and we're given this uh, screen or option for automotive testing uh, with Pico scope, but we can just X out of that. That's for automatic setups. We'll turn off the channels that we're not using. So we're going to set our voltage. And we know that the voltage should be roughly 50 to 100 volts for this. Okay. So we just set that to maybe 100 volts there. And next we're going to set up the amp clamp, which we know is on channel C. Okay, so we select probes, we go down to our 6020 amp clamp. All right, we're going to set that to 60 amps. And we'll also set our uh, channel range to 60 amps. Right, we just separate the two lines there to make them uh, easier to see. So the earth for channel A will go on the battery negative. And the blue pickup will go on the control wire for the injector. The amp clamp will also go on uh, either of the control wires for the injectors shown there in the engine bay and uh, shown here in the wiring diagram. So then we'll start the engine, just make sure that it's out of gear and that the exhaust extractor is on the uh, exhaust at the back and switched on. We're looking pretty good now, but the uh, current is actually pointing in the wrong direction. So we have to take off the amp clamp, flip its orientation. We'll see here now that the current is actually facing up in the right direction. We can use our magnifier here to uh, open a window and zoom in on our uh, single scope trace. So we'll zoom once. Okay, and we can still zoom again now. So now that we have a good look at it, we can measure our voltage using the left hand blue scale and we can use our right hand green scale to measure our green trace, which is the current. Next then we're going to measure our inlet metering valve, voltage and current. That's the best spec I could find there from Bosch and Pico. Um, it uh, is a duty cycle and it's about uh, 12 to maybe 16 volts. The amp clamp is still on channel C. This time we're going to use the 20 amp mode.
Make sure that the uh, setting on the clamp actually matches the setting on the scope. So they're both set to 20 amps and it's zero my clamp. Now that that's ready, we'll have a little look at auto data and Y63 there. That's our uh, fuel pressure regulator or in the meter and valve. Pin one or pin two, they're the uh, control wires. So we have it extended out here just for access and it's labeled as PCV even though it should be IMV and we're going to put the current clamp on that wire there channel A then or the blue channel will go into the uh, switched earth from the ECU okay so we set the voltage now on channel A to uh, 20 volts And you can separate the two scope traces there to uh, make it easier to see. So the green trace is current and the blue trace is our voltage signal. So we can just zoom in now to get a better look. We use the blue scale to measure the blue trace up on the top left there. And the time scale is on the bottom left. So we can pull across our course right there to measure our time. First we measure the on time, which is ground switched. And next we'll measure the cycle time. And after that, we can do our duty cycle calculation, which is our on time over our cycle time as a percentage. And finally, we're going to look at our fuel pressure um, sensor, okay, which is uh, B26 on our diagram. Okay, I'm pretty sure the middle wire there is the signal wire. We'll just swap the or channel one into that middle wire of the um, pressure sensor, which is shown here on the end of the rail. Then we're going to idle the engine, we're going to run it through wide open throttle, and we're going to let it run back to idle. We'll use our zoom again to get a good look at it. And we can use our blue cursor to measure the voltage at maximum load. And we can see there that the um, signal rises in line with the fuel pressure. It goes up to about three and a half volts there. It might actually go a little bit higher on the road under real driving conditions. So that's the end of the video. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch it. And if you have any feedback, I'd really appreciate it.